Parnell Martin and Martell Washington were led into court, and the prosecution laid out their argument that the boys had forced the girl into sex on March 18th. Mr. Martin said he had the video. He used that. He said, it's my turn now. The defense attorneys went on the attack, trying to block as many charges as they could from going to trial. Martin's attorney argued. There's nothing indicating that Mr. Martin ever threatened Mr. And Washington's attorney tried to prove that Washington didn't have a hand in recording the sex tape. There's nothing shown, at least we believe there's nothing shown, that um, Mr. Washington had knowledge of the taping. But the judge disagreed because he'd seen the tape allegedly recorded by Trey Nichols without the girl's knowledge. Well, the court was not at all eager to uh, view the video. Um, counsel did request that I do so, and I complied. Um, and it turns out to be a good thing. Mr. Nichols gave uh, Mr. Washington the signal. Then the judge ruled which charges would move forward. He did block some, but the boys still face multiple charges that could lead to life in prison. But Martin may go home before that, after his lawyer made one last plea. Mr. Martin has never been in trouble before. Martin's mother wept, and so did he, as the judge agreed to lower his $150,000 bond and maybe allow him to go home before he faces a jury to learn his fate.